Problems with TSM just uh, completely wrecking the Demon's Hust team here, apparently. Only Kerrigan going down. Yeah, okay, well. I mean, Mirage, 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 Mirage. The, you know, the, for a period of time, Dignitas were very solid on Mirage. Between Pimp on B site and AC on A site, those two riflers were just able yeah. to do magnificent work for Team Dignitas and make it really difficult for their opponents. Now versus TSM, or well, since Schneider been, has, added, has been added into the roster, that's where it started to get a little fuzzy as to like how they were setting it up because Pimp went back to being the primary opper, so then he wasn't playing B-side anymore. He was playing more into mid, and you know it was coming down to Schneider to do a lot of the work. I mean, it was a very odd time, right? Okay, apparently we have to, we have to restart, guys, so um, they're going to show a replay of the last round. Right, we've got that going on, which is good stuff, good stuff. Almost like a little bit of a haunting scenario as we like we skip straight into like you know more pausing. I was about to say you know like I'm getting you know maybe we should take that break, Anders. <laughs> Forcing it on us. Oh, what is this? Okay, apparently we we skipped a bit here, but um, Dean and they must have got a bomb plant, and it's, that means they can buy in third round here. Carrigan looking for scout headshots in the middle. Got to be careful, and he's going to end up taking out MSL, which is a good start here. The Captain of the Dig Tusty and falling out. Kirby, very nearly dead, but Pimp is there to help out. Cajun gonna go down and Pimp now on the hunt, but taking on a little bit too much of a fight there. Schneider gonna go down and Kirby, last man left. He drops to Kerrigan. And third round gonna go to TSM. Triple you, kill for Kerrigan with the scout. you good for talking smack, Pimp. <laughs> See that going on. Yeah, I mean, I feel like smack talking is dangerous because it really is like a mental thing. Like, oh, I big, but. I love it when people do it. I, I much rather have people come out and say, we are so good and we feel so strong tonight and we will destroy them. And if you lose... It's it, like I, false bravado though, you know? It is, but it's. But I mean, it makes it more fun for everyone watching, you know? If you're like a TSM fan, then you're going to be automatically, you're going to be like, okay. You know, when if, if Pimp loses, then you can tweet at him and be like, ha, 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 what did you say? And, you know, if they win, then great, you know? I feel like it's. I feel like it adds to the game. I mean, I, I want more smack talking. You want more smack talking? Yeah. I guess it, it comes down to like the player preference, right? Because they already get like tons of messages from crybabies who lost their skins, you know. So it's like, do they want to add to that with just like vindictive tweets about, you know, oh, you talk smack, boy, you know? And there you go. This is what happens, you know. Like, just. I feel like the pro scene though is maturing to that point where it's like, collectively, all the pros have just uh, like adopted this. We don't care about your skins mentality. Absolutely. So, yeah. and I feel I think actually like everyone is sort of starting to realize that that's probably going to be the way things are. You know, like. No professional player is going to worry about how many skins you have on whatever game, like, you know. True, true. They true. have different, like, priorities. I'm just, I'm just thinking about their poor inboxes, you know. Yeah, it's true, but, poor, you know. Poor inboxes. I think it will be all right. I am... Yeah, we're going to just restart going... the game. Of... Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll be all right. Uh, so we're, we're just sorting out some... some technical issues i'm not sure if it's if this is live or not like four and oh it is it is live apparently but we have a buggy go tv apparently so we need to go for a quick restart so at the end of this round guys depending on whatever the hell happens uh we're gonna go for a quick reboot and we should be back in business but this is still a key round for tsm and for team dignitas both just because schneider's got that awp not pimp interestingly enough but this is a buy round for team dignitas so this is where they need to get work done and maybe that Schneider having it initially was just based off of spawn because Pimp has the uh, AWP once again. Yeah, not a bad way to run it. There are some really good spawns you can get, get on this map, especially if you spawn, I think, towards the A-bomb side. You can actually get in there and catch people crossing on over. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little shot to take. Smoke does go up, and it's to the top of connector. I wonder who put that down. Oh. Top of connector that was T side. Right, but from where? Oh wow, look at that delivery. The three's like sweet. Thanks for them kills and for the bomb. Takes out Pimp, and they're just shredding Dignitas at this point. Schneider gonna be the last man alive here. He's got the AK. Nowhere near the bomb though. It's actually been smoked off, and wow, Dupree. He's looking towards Delpan, where Schneider was playing from, so that was a great read on Dupree's part. But it's gonna be Zipmix to pick up the kill. Nice round from TSM, 5-0. Oh. 
And um, I think you're right, it was a T-side smoke that landed top connected. The question is where they threw it from, because there are... T spawn. No, I mean from, like, on the CT side of connector. Yeah. You can throw it from a certain T spawn, but there's only one team that I've only ever seen do it in one match. I think they That's did why it from T spawn, because I saw the yellow arc go off, or, you know, right? Yeah. So, so I kind of want to keep an eye on that, because you can do it from... From T spawn, you can do it from underpass, which is where most people do it. Mm -hmm. Can do it from top mid with the boxes, so a lot of people teams have started doing that as well. And you can also do it from outside of apartments. Mm -hmm. But uh, like, there's only like a limited spots, and it looked like it was an angle we don't see too often. So may we may have missed the cool smoke. We'll see. Sibnix flashed himself in there, and a nice double kill back, and trying to see if he could set it up again. Hasn't even reloaded his M4 yet. He's just ready for more. 14 bullets, more than enough. Goes for it one more time, and this time it's a bit too many people waiting. He does get a headshot and a triple, but. Schneider gonna kill another person and another headshot there. Schneider making this expensive for TSM. Yeah, Zipnik said they gotta be careful, TSM. Don't get too greedy. You are I you are the top dog team on this server. You're one of the best teams in the world, but don't underestimate another Danish team because this always seems to happen, right? And that's kinda what we're hoping for, Anders, is that this goes the distance. Just because whenever it's the same nationality playing one against the other, it always seems to be so close because of the history between all of these players. They know each other so well, so... Yeah, I mean, that's what we said last time, and then TSM destroyed Dignitas. Good but point. I think you are right, though. It, 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 like, historically, if you look at, like, the last 20 matches they've played, there will have been uh, quite a few, I think, where they are, where they are, like, fairly close to each other, so, um... Well, they played, yeah, that was, and that was last time, and it was on Dust 2, 16-3. TSM just completely mauled Dignitas. They haven't actually played together, or played against one against the other for quite some time. DreamHack London was uh, was the big time, and they got shredded there as well, Dignitas. And then, yeah, DreamHack London would have been right after uh, Schneider got um, added to the roster, though. So that would have been a weaker Dignitas lineup. Now we kind of expect more out of Dignitas just because they've had some time. Ooh, Dupree or Ping. And boosted up on the box here. Could have been a sick shot if he could have hit it, but not going to be this time. The device playing close inside the window. 50 seconds left here. See if they can make some sort of breakthrough. 6 0 is not an ideal start for Dignitas, but might not be any better this time. Carrigan is going to be able to get that kill. Device spring, and he takes out MSL. Will be down by Schneider, but a little bit too late there. Man, yeah, advantage still, though, for TSM, thanks to Carrigan getting the initial kill. Dignitas, they still have some nades, but they don't have any smokes to work with. So these long lines with the AWP are going to be very difficult for them to deal with unless they can start picking them apart like that. Pimp with the backstab on a Dupree. Cajun bait flopping the spray. He finds the headshot in the end. and But he does get overwhelmed. Kerrigan, though, decides to go super aggressive. He drops the bomb. Sorry, super aggressive. Yeah. And Kirby, he gets that HE onto Kerrigan, but Kerrigan's just playing for time. Ten seconds left. Kerby running out of it. He's going to pick up the first man, but he's going to be out in the open. The bomb is in the Molotov, and he actually has to go for the kill. Can he find Zipnix in time? No, it's not possible. And now with time ticking down, he's going to get shot and killed, and no bonus money for him. Oh, no. Yeah, that Molotov, and obviously the time bought by Kerrigan there, and you're right to put that German Zuba on there. Zuba. It's very good. I like it. 7-0 and zero right now. TSM, I mean, we were a little bit delayed. I guess TSM were like, look, we've got things to do later on this evening. Um, let's, you know, let's get it on. We're going to keep it on schedule. Yeah. All right, so they're going to finish it in the next three minutes. Three minutes, yeah. That's what they've got. Oh, oh. that would have been a sick nade. Carrigan probably a little bit pleased with that. MSL, though, waking up and taking a kill there. AC going to go down to Dupree. I really feel like... AC has to come back and really wake up in this game here. Device gonna take one and Kerrigan sneaking his way through the smoke and turns Did into he? a double for Device before they spot Schneider in the middle and he's gonna be down by Dupree, so... 8-0. and zero. Whoa. That double take there. He saw him the first time. So Kerrigan, he's, uh, he's wired tight right now. But they do still have the money to get Pimp and AWP. That's pretty crazy as far as the force is concerned. This is actually a pretty good one. I mean, wow. right now, Device has got 13 kills, which is more than the entire Dignitas team combined, so that's a bit scary. Mm -hmm. Well, the last time they played, it was, uh, what, DreamHack London? It was a 16-6 scoreline for TSM, and I remember TSM yeah. messing around a little bit as well. So, let's see. This is like old-school Kerrigan as well, right? Just sit in mid-window, kill after kill with the AWP. Pimp and Kirby now, they need to do something, but Cajun takes out Kirby, so it is going to come down to the Pimpmeister himself. 
Yeah, and you know, I'm not surprised. Carrigan, you know, I bet he's wearing some of that Carrigan swag. So, you know, he's, oh, yeah. he's tuned in. He's ready. He's got that shop now. He's know what's up. So what is it, Carrigan.net? Uh, Shop.carrigan.net? Shop.carrigan.net, yeah, I think it is. Go check it out, know, guys. Pick up the final kill there. Yeah, I, th I like the design. I think it's actually quite cool. So, um... What it did, yeah. I was going to say something mean. I was like, you know, if, it's, if it was the 90s... <laughs> 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 there was a big discussion on Reddit, but uh, I think it's a nice idea. I like it. I, I think it's cool that he's got he's showing initiative. That he's yeah. he's one of the very few players that has actually gone out and cr you know tried to create something a la Hiko, right? Where it's like yeah, Hiko and homies. He has his brand and Kerrigan now trying to do something. Like in Counter Strike, players are, are very far behind on doing stuff like that. Oh, nice shot from Kerb to shut down Kerrigan. There it is. They only have pistols, but if they could start to do some damage in a round like this, then maybe there's still hope. Right now, they've yet to pick up a single round. Cajun thinking about it, thinking a lot about it, but while he's thinking, AC's gonna interrupt that train of thought and just put a bullet in his face. So now it's down to three on three. Sipnik's missing a Molotov there. Dupree doing a lot of work. Couldn't find the last kill on Pimp. Maybe Device can. I think he's still 13 and one at the moment. This is getting slightly, ever so slightly s sloppy on TSM sign. Nice work though from Kedvi, at least with the initial frag with the Deeg. Is he going to see the bomb? Hey, there's a bomb there. That's a big giveaway. That means the the options are somewhat limited for the for the terrorist side. I like the fact that Pimp is sneaking around here without them having picked up the bomb, because that might be a little bit of a tricky play. But Sipnix is still here, and he's going to win that fight. Device will win his, and it's going to be 10-0 here. Wow. Oof. 15, 2, and 1 for Device. Yeah, when you get to the point where three guys at the beginning of the round had 15,000, close to 15,000, 16,000, you know, that's... It's not going to get any easier here for Dignitas. But they got to they gotta buy, all things considered. I mean, it's obviously 10 and 0, so they're getting max money at the end of the round, Dignitas. But now is when Team Solomon can really start to mess around. Going super aggressive and underpass. This is Zipnix taking the fight, doing a little bit of damage to Schneider, dropping him down to half, and he gets the kill in the end as well. Two kills, actually, here for TSM, starting them off very strong. Pimp trying to see if he could get that shot. He did sort of see it coming. Sipnix is now snuck out of underpass and is standing in the middle of the lane in middle and ready and waiting for something to happen here. Three on five and Carrigan picking up AC. He's not going to make anything easier. Pimp going down to Sipnix and it's going to leave Kirby alone. Trying to battle it out here. TSM, they are just so tuned in. Wow. Zipnix is just, yeah, okay. Sounds like uh, he was getting a little bored over on that B site. He wanted to get a bit of the action. Nine kills for him, seven for Cajun B. Triple got op and a negative. We've got a total of 14 kills right now on Dignitas House, and Device still has 15. And you're right, we've got the negative in play. <laughs> oh, God. Let the fun begin. I am I... and three AWPs, please have the. Oh, they don't have decoys. I'm so sad. Yeah, where, where are, where's the decoys? You're right. I, I'd actually approve what a the slip decoys. Up. If they lose now, it'll be because of the decoys. And Zipnix actually has a soul. He decided oh. to go with the M4. Well, you say that, but they're about to rush in here, and he's going to be in the same spot. Dupree's going to be there, and they have got a lot of grenades to stop this with. Dupree's going to go down. Pop flash out. Zipnix trying to see if he can find the angle, but there's too many people there. Now they're coming out of the window as well. He's going to get the one kill in on Kiabu, but he goes down to MSL. Kara going to fall. Cajun in a very bad spot here as well. Schneider could be walking right into it and oh doesn't get the shot there a little bit of a slip up this is where you learn that it's really difficult to retake sites with ops yeah but not with the negev <laughs> with negev's two anders no man it's the perfect weapon for it you never have to reload anything this uh, is gonna happen yeah, I'm, I'm waiting i'm waiting look oh, at this <laughs> he's gonna get one now he can't get the second one. Oh, it's beautiful though Really Absolutely wonderful. Please, somebody pick up that Negev. Come on, you want to pick up the Negev? Definitely should. Definitely oh, should. How can you not? You. Well, I mean, that was, I think, a quad kill from MSL in that round. So we got to give him some credit here. 11 and 1. Double up. Still currently being picked up. And device off the Negev for a while. I mean, it's just so funny to see people tab with the Negev because it doesn't feel like it's it's supposed to be quite right, you know? It's like bringing a broad sword to, like, a samurai fight or something. You know, it's like the wrong tool, you know, yeah. for that kind of job, but still. Brute force in all of its glory. And device, you know, 
he showed that it's not all about brute force with the trip with the tapping but now team Dennis Austin, you know they've actually given themselves a shot here they've given themselves a chance and Kerrigan has denied devices second negative he said no we have to actually save a little bit of money and make sure that we don't just throw it all away and make life easier here for Dignitas. It's like Kerrigan's, you know, he's like the dad of the team, almost. Oh, Sitnik's gonna get a kill then, but MSL with a swift reply, and Kerrigan could have maybe got picked off then, but he gets the bomb kill and the bomb drops down to him. Schneider, last man left, flashbang in, and Kerrigan gonna execute him for the triple. Resetting Dignitas House economy and putting TSM already very close to a victory. This has been a fast game. This has been. This is definitely, yeah, not a whole lot to say as well because TSM are playing with no respect and they're just reading. It's not even a question of reading Dignitas like a book. It's just they're winning all of the duels. Dignitas can't seem to find an edge in this match at all. I mean, the one round was just because things got out of control really quickly on the B site. But at least there was a shoulder peek again. AC with the deke. He's going to do a little bit of damage to Kerrigan. But Kerrigan again wants to set up with that pop flash. Not going to find anybody, though. Just a little bit of a, you know, of a hello there to Pimp. Some shrapnel to the face. Yeah, decent enough Molotov. I mean, or um, HE grenade. Not too much. The Molotov actually will do a lot of damage. Pimp down to 22. AC going to be picked off as well. The Kerrigan did go down. Still a little bit tricky here as... Oh, there's a team kill. Schneider, I think... Is that one bullet taking out Pimp and Device? How sick would that be? I think it might have been. It was at least close. I'm wondering if... I don't know. 13-1, and one, moving into the 15th round. Ultra Sniper in play. Negev in play on. Sipnix, here we go. Come on, Kazen. Come on, Kazen. You've got the money to buy whatever you want. Don't you dare stay on that M4. There ah, we go. He heard you. That's what I'm saying. Double negative, double op, scar 20, totally so, a real strat. What you gotta realize is that these all these players know each other really well, so I think this house are gonna be a little bit annoyed, but I think they, they know that they're getting beat pretty badly. This is all good fun. This is gonna be a slaughter, Anders! Already, he's gonna be digging into them cage, and oh, he only gets that one kill, and Negev just cannot find any luck at all. The auto sniper, on the other hand, doing some good work. Pimp, last man left in the corner. They're gonna try and knife him, but Sipnik says no. Has a Negev of his own 14 1 scoreline, and saw a bit of Negev action as well. Yeah, we, at least we got some of that. I mean, at least it happened. At least he got some kill. That was, again, just like the perfect read, though. Cajun gets up into the perfect spot to deal with an A execute, just in case MSL wants to go for it. Curious uh, curious if it's Kerrigan who's just calling out for that, saying, yeah, this is, uh, that's what's happening, right? He's going to go, MSL is going to call for a standard kind of play just to, just to hope, to pray that they can get us another round on the board. 14-1, though. 14-1. And now we go into the pistol round, and TSM, they have no pressure on their shoulders. I don't think that Dignitas, per se, do either. Right? You know, it's like, if you're so far behind, do you have any pressure on your shoulders? Yeah, maybe only in the form of a tweet you put out earlier that said, we're going to crush these fools tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that? But that's the thing. That's what I wanted to say, right? You know, when you said that, you know, it's like, yeah, it's great. And I'm just like, yeah, but, you know, the only people that ever do that are the people that are going to, like, near guaranteed lose. <laughs> Maybe so. Well, Pimp is trying to see if he can turn things around here. Carrigan has gone down. MSL just overwhelmed by the Glocks on the site. Kirby next in line. KGMB racking up a couple of kills here. And Pimp and Schneider left. Trying to hold on and not doing it successfully either. Schneider. Can he stop the bomb plant? No, he Actually, they're going to stop it for him. Nice headshot from Schneider. And a second one. Makes it a quad kill. Great job here. Puts an end to TSM, finally. There we go. Ah, and then AC, he's getting into the spirit of things. Auto shotgun for him. There we go, AC. I approve. How does that bomb plant get pulled off, though? Why in the world would device come off the bomb? I think they were incorrectly thinking that, you know, they could try and take the fight with him and he'd, like, he'd, like be in a bad position or something. But you're right, it would have been better if they just kept on it. Mm -hmm. Auto shuddy on AZ and five deagles on CSM. Oh, AZ. <laughs> Eat it, device. Yes, please. Oh, Carrigan gets a refrag and Sipnix is going to go down to Dignitas. House. We're getting a little bit of control back in the game. Oh, no. Auto shotgun jumping around the corner as well. He's brave, but not going to land him a kill. No. And actually, this, this is within Dupree and Carrigan's means. They have a smoke, so they have to be very. 
Oh, this this all comes down to the timing here. Kirby has no idea that Kerrigan's worked his way up in the connector, but Kerrigan, but Kerrigan, he's heard, or Dupree rather, has heard that somebody's close by. He's going to hear him in jungle. Now he knows. He's getting all this info right now, Dupree. Dupree. Nice two tab there. Pip might be um, tempted to just walk out of here. He's got to be careful. Timing is everything, and he gets delivered the bomb right to his feet. So, pretty good job there. Now, all on Dupree. One on two here. Looking for the shot and not going to get it. The UMP going to be winning this time around. And that will be 14 3. Well done. Well done by Dupree. MSL with the MP9. Okay. Well, Team Solo mid, they really aren't uh, closing it out all that quickly. Now they had all the momentum in the first half, but it's turning into a bit of a grind. And as I say that, they're, they're starting to get that same feeling as well because they all go for straight tech nines across the board. Four spy from TSM. This is something, uh, well, this is a little tricky for Dignitas. When there's such a huge lead for your opponents, they're just going to be inclined to, to do things, right? Just to go crazy and keep buying. They make it really difficult for you to close out the game. In a, in it's a, true. In a uh, matter that makes sense, rather. Yeah, you, you could end up prolonging the game quite a bit by uh, by just being a little bit too aggressive every once in a while. Bomb being put down inside. He's very low on health, though, Dupree. they got to be careful, but missing the spray is AZ, and because MSL is already down, they got to be a bit careful here on the Dignitas side. TSM set up, and look at who's rotating back around for middle. This is what Fnatic used to do a lot, and to great success as well. AC cleaning up, Dupree and Device gone, Cajun's gone as well, but are they going to expect the backstab? That's the big thing. No one's defusing yet. they got to get on it. I think someone's on it finally. AC running through, Simix has gone down, and seems like Demon's Stars are going to make that one work, so good job on them. It's a little bit scary, because all it takes is one guy, even if everybody else is still alive. One guy comes up from behind and kills the defuser, mm. and that can buy enough time for the win, so got to be careful. but not a single shot was landed. That's actually the... I'm a little bit surprised after how they managed to get up onto that side. A very well-executed strat as well. Did you see that Molotov that went down behind Firebox as well? I mean, just to delay it, they, they have the full wall, and they're like, the only place that this guy's going to want to go is right here. Let me go ahead and Molotov that. Everything was very well thought out with that strat, so it was a real pleasure to watch. Just TSM not able to follow up on it. Pimp going to start off strong, though, taking out Kerrigan. Not super important in this round, though. This is an eco round coming in for, Digni or for TSM, so... I mean, it's just going to build the money for Dignitas, but then, really, TSM... Yeah, one kill. But that's it. I mean, we're right now TSM are just thinking, well, let's get some rifles, let's get some entries, let's just win this game and move on. They, they're they not, I think, putting too much, like, thought or too much worry about the future into it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, which is alright, but, you know, again, there comes a cutoff point where suddenly you realize we're losing this game now and we can't, like, get back into it. It's not anywhere in the air, but once you get to like 14, 12, 14, 13 type scoreline, yeah. then you start to think, wait a minute, they, they can actually turn around and win this game. And we've been like, you know, messing around for too long. And then device could also just start around like that. Yeah, you can just completely shut down MSL, who's trying to get into an aggressive, aggressive uh, position. And well, now AC is going to be able to strike back with an AWP. He takes out Kerrigan, but then Dupree lurks his way up through connector, takes out Schneider. And there's still two players holding in CT, though. Do they have a smoke? Yes, they have mm, They have one smoke on device. They need to get a smoke down on CT, though. Or at least force AC out of this angle. Oh, look at Kirby. This could be the big play here. The yeah. bomb's right up there. If he gets this kill, then it's going to buy so much time for things to actually set up a really good defense here. Um, AC taking out device. That's the bomb already down. Now Kirby's going to be spotting it. AC finding one more kill. Great defense right now being put up by him. Sibling's going to go down. And Dupree, who had a great central position if the bomb had, had ever gone down, now in a very bad spot here. Trying to sneak his way in. Headshot on one. Out in the middle of the site. Pip will take him out. And TSM giving up a ground there. They had a huge lead. They had a smoke. What happened to just smoking off the op? Smoke and a pancake. Bong and a blitz. I mean, seriously. Why did they not just throw the smoke down on the CT and block off that man instead of letting AC get a triple kill with the AWP? Not even a rifle, Anders. Yeah, not his weapon of choice, but um, still, it'll make do. 14-6. And Pimp. Quickly giving up that window. Seems like they've got a bit of an idea that it might be a B push happening, although TSM are slowing it up because they need to wait for that Molotov to get away out of there. 
Interesting grenade from Dupree. Cool. Like, TSM is so disappointed that they just give up on that. It's like, fine, fine, Dupree, fine. Just leave, leave us alone then. Yeah, like, they, they're literally sending Dupree in the middle now. It's like, we don't care anymore. Dupree, you go in the middle and do your own thing. We'll push somewhere else where we don't need you. Carrigan. What in the Sam Hells is going on, though? What is AC doing with an AWP and not Schneider? I don't know. Change of pace, change of style. Dupree going to win the fight against Schneider. And Kirby and Pimp. Two versus four here. And not for long, as far as Kirby is concerned. It is going to be down to Pimp, though. And he catches out Kerrigan, but then that's the information obtained. That's all they needed. They can plant however they want now, TSM. They know where he's coming from. And so now life gets significantly easier for the one Danish team. The other Danish team, it's not... Well, it's nothing to look forward the, to here. The slightly less Danish team, they do have Schneider on Ever there. Ever so slightly less, you're right. You're yeah. The one-fifth lesser, I don't know. Yeah. 20% less uh, Danish than, uh, than TSM are. Yeah, and I think I think Schneider's from the north, not the south either, so I can't even make that kind of joke. Or maybe I'm wrong on that. I can't quite remember where Schneider's from in Sweden. I also think that... Uh, is it Sibnix? I think... I think maybe Sipnix is like living on like Fun, which is like the middle of Denmark. It's not like quite Denmark, you know. It's like only near Copenhagen. It's like really there's Real like a Denmark. lot of internal stuff like that in Denmark. You know? Well, it's like the only part of Denmark I've ever been to, honestly. You know, so <laughs> yeah. the rest is irrelevant. Um, is Dupree silly? is gonna. I'm just gonna get a lot of trouble for saying that, by the way. Um, <laughs> Carrigan is gonna be uh, getting a shot on MSL here. It's four versus three right now. Dinch just being a man down, and Schneider almost getting caught there. A little bit scary. Gonna go for the fight one more time, but. Cajun will fend the headshot, and it's going to be AC going down to Carrigan, leaving Pimp, the man who was so ready to win tonight, but not ready enough, apparently. Device will finish off the last kill of the round here of the game, and it's going to be Dignitas losing to TSM one more time tonight. 12-4, 12-5. Yeah. So I think they did even worse than they did the last time before.